Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash. We have a new series that has been announced and they've even released a trailer for it. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I was not expecting this. I saw this a few days back. There was a couple of reports that went out that a new Flash series is about to drop and this came out of nowhere because no one knew about this like everyone that I've seen online has been completely shocked like myself when I first saw it I was like huh, I don't believe this is this like a fan thing or something like that but no it's an actual flash series titled the flash escape the midnight circus and it's going to be a apple podcast so that is the twist it's not a tv series but it's a podcast series there's going to be multiple episodes and it will star Max Greenfield, who many of you guys will know from New Girl. Also, he was in a series of unfortunate events. That's how I know him. He was also in Promising Young Woman a couple years ago. So he is a decently big actor and he is going to be starring as Barry Allen, aka The Flash in The Flash, Escape the Midnight Circus, an interesting title. Obviously, they can't just go The Flash because there is The Flash film out and there is a TV show called The Flash. So, you know, it's got the subtitle just to make some sort of differentiation. They've also released a logo. I'll have it on the screen right now. It looks pretty cool. And so this is going to be a podcast and they have released a trailer for it. So basically what we're getting with this series is it's going to be a series set in Central City starring Max Greenfield as Barry Allen and he is going to be joined by some familiar faces from the Flash's Rose Gallery and the people that surround him but obviously in this case it's just surrounded by familiar voices and so they've gone ahead and completely cast a new cast for this Flash series I've got a feeling it's a one-time thing, like it's just the six episodes that have been announced, and so this is a first standalone original podcast series for DC, as far as I know. I know they did The Sandman a while ago, and so this is a big thing because Apple is now working with Warner Brothers on this. And these episodes are fairly substantial because we got the details as to episode 1, 2, up to 6, and the exact runtime for each of those episodes. So yeah, this is a big project. Let's go over the synopsis and break it down. Obviously, the trailer will be linked in the description below. You can go ahead and listen to it. They have all the flash sound effects. It sounds great. You can imagine the images of what would be happening on screen if this were a TV show or a film. It's actually really awesome and I can't wait to go ahead and give it a listen when it releases in July. So the synopsis goes like this. Barry Allen is at the height of his powers and fame, but when being the Flash forces him to let Iris down one time too many, she decides to call it quits. Undeterred, Barry figures he can use the speed force to go back in time and set things right. But something goes wrong. Barry tumbles into a new dimension, finding himself in a small bedroom with Captain Cold and his powers gone. Cold tells Barry that he's an unwitting participant in a televised tournament titled The Midnight Circus, which pits humans, superheroes, and rogues against one another in life or death games of chance. Survive the competition and Barry earns his freedom recreate the conditions of his original transformation and return to his own timeline. But to do so, he will have to rely solely on his wits. And if that wasn't hard enough, he soon finds himself facing his toughest opponent yet, Iris West. So there you have it. It's almost like a televised game and it's going to be a real big challenge for Barry. And obviously here in the synopsis, you can see the links between Flashpoint and this. I believe this is actually intended to be like a companion piece to the Flash film, that's why they're releasing at such a similar time. And so you have Barry figures out he can use the Speed Force to go back in time and set things right. That's exactly what happened in the Flash film with Ezra. And so he goes back in time, he tries to fix things with Iris in this case, it's not in terms of trying to go back and save his mum, so it's not Flashpoint, and they definitely don't want to go too close with that. And so things with Iris have taken a bad turn and they've called it quits, but Barry is undeterred and he wants to go back in time to fix things and set it right. Obviously he's made mistakes so it's his fault, but he feels like because he's got the power he can actually go back and set it right, but really the Midnight Circus is all going to be about him learning his lesson 
and living his life properly in the present with the people that surround him. And so as this goes wrong, Barry tumbles into a new dimension, finding himself in a small bedroom with Captain Cold and his powers gone. That's similar to the Flash film again, because if you remember in the Flash film, he actually gets kicked out of the Speed Force and into a different dimension to a different timeline where he finds his younger self. So again, very similar in terms of the story, but this time with the addition of Captain Cold, he's seemingly going to play like a decently big part of this series so that's cool that we got Captain Cold so involved as he is one of the main rogues of the Flash's rogues gallery and so Barry's powers are going to be gone. Yes I know people are going to be a bit upset about this because you know it's the Flash you would love to see him with his powers. I'm pretty sure you'll get his powers back in the last episode and you'll get to hear all the amazing sound effects of Barry running just like you will get in the first episode because even in the trailer you can hear him running like it sounds great it sounds like the TV show or the film also there is someone in the background of the trailer talking to him I feel like that's their version of Cisco so I'm wondering who the other cast members are that are going to be playing these different characters who obviously are a big deal in the Flash's life and so yeah, he finds himself in this televised tournament, the Midnight Circus, which pits humans, so Iris West and other people, superheroes and rogues against each other. So you're going to have, you know, Captain Cold, Heatwave, Weather Wizard and all the other rogues. I don't know how many people are going to be in it, but they're all going to have to face off against each other and I'm sure some of them are going to end up dying but some of them will survive and obviously we're hoping Barry survives but obviously this is an alternate dimension a different timeline so we don't know how significant the events that are going to be happening here actually is and so apparently if he does win the game he will be able to earn his freedom recreate the conditions of his original transformation to get his powers back and then return to his own timeline because he has his speedster powers back so seemingly somehow whoever is behind the midnight circus has taken away Barry's powers and so that's why he's powerless throughout most of this series and so yeah hopefully he can fix things and I think the whole point of this is by the time he actually escapes he's going to realize going back in time and fixing things with Iris is just not the right way to do it just like the main moral lesson of Flashpoint is even though it would be nice to go back and save your mom it's just the way that things are supposed to be and having powers doesn't mean that you should abuse those powers and go back and change everything to the way that exactly you want to form the timeline or you know have a certain type of life and so this all sounds super exciting and as I said earlier the trailer sounds awesome I love the sound effects of the flash running and it seems he's like pretty early days flash like maybe he's had the powers for a year or so and then he finds himself in the midnight circus facing off against 50 opponents that's what the trailer says but the synopsis doesn't say that and the first two episodes of the podcast will premiere on monday july 10th with new episodes to follow every monday after until we get to episode six and so let's go ahead and give you guys the title of each of the episodes because Apple and Warner Brothers Entertainment have announced that episode 1 is titled Priorities. It's going to be 18 minutes and 24 seconds long, so as I said earlier, that's pretty significant for a podcast. And obviously this is a fictional podcast, so it's with actors. It's not just someone like creating a story on the spot, it's actually written and there's screenplays for this. So episode 2 is titled The Inherent Dangers, and this is going to be 12 minutes and 48 seconds long. Episode 3 will be titled Fully Talked, this is going to be 15 minutes and 19 seconds long and then episode 4 The Psychodrome, which sounds pretty cool, is going to be the longest episode that's going to be 20 minutes and 38 seconds so that's actually pretty significant, that's nearly like half the amount of time of a normal Flash episode and then episode 5 is titled Cyclotron Don, which I don't know what to make of that but that's 30 minutes and 8 seconds long. Well actually I just looked up what it was and a cyclotron is a type of particle accelerator which repeatedly propels a beam of charged particles in a circular path so it's pretty much a particle accelerator and so basically what that means is Barry's going to be recreating what gave him powers and it seems in this case He's got his powers the same way as the Flash TV show Flash got powers from the Particle Accelerator. I'm pretty sure in the DCU, 
the Flash has got powers by lightning hitting his lab and all the chemicals just doused over him. So this is more in line with the Flash TV show. And then we have episode 6 titled Blackout. So that's going to be the end of the show. This is 12 minutes and 17 seconds long. Blackout, you can pretty much just figure out, okay, this is the end of this series. This is the end of the Midnight Circus. So overall, this is a lot of content. Like this is a significant amount of work that they put into this. With the longest episode being over 20 minutes, the shortest episode being... 12 minutes and 17 seconds that be in the final episode so this original scripted podcast is going to be one to look forward to as i said you can go ahead and check out the trailer in the link in the description below because quite honestly at first i was a little skeptical when i heard they're doing like a scripted podcast but then when i listened to the trailer i was like okay this actually sounds like really professional they've actually put money into this they put a lot of effort into editing it to sound really good and like you would imagine a Flash series would sound like. Obviously, we've got the reference of the TV show and the film. So I like this, and I hope that we get like some other Flash-related podcasts or some other DC-related podcasts, because, yeah, it's just a cool concept that they really haven't explored too much in the past. So that pretty much does it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video and if you're hyped for The Flash Escape the Midnight Circus coming July 10th with the first two episodes, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Also, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any future videos. As I said recently, we are uploading daily, so don't miss out on any of my videos. You can go on the channel and check everything out. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.